Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner re-read reading from Chris Riddell's lovely book Poems to Save the World with chosen and illustrated by him. Um, this poem is by John Keats. I have a friend who absolutely loves all the poetry of John Keats. Never quite got into it as well as I might but this is one of those poems. It's got a line that you will know. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Even if you don't know anything else uh, of Keats poetry. Um, and this is an extract from a longer poem called Endymion. So this is from Endymion by John Keats. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness but still will keep a bower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Therefore, on every morrow, are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth, spite of de despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and awe-darkened ways made for our searching, yes, in spite of all. Some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirit. Such the sun, the moon, trees old and young, sprouting a shady boon for simple sheep. And such are daffodils, with the green world they live in, and clear rills that for themselves a cooling covert make against the hot season. The mid-forest break rich with a sprinkling of fair musk rose blooms. And such too is the grandeur of the dooms we have imagined for the mighty dead, all lovely tales that we have heard or read, an endless fountain of immortal drink pouring unto us from heaven's brink. Thank you. Thank you are. This is Chris Riddell's picture of John Keats. Having set aside his great burden he had on previous pages and going off into the beautiful forest. Always a good idea, if you can. Father poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson on YouTube. Thank you.